If you want the lowdown on battery monitors for your RV, well, you're in the right place. Hey, how's it going? Welcome to another All About RVs, where we love to share the information that is handed down to us and share it with you. So today we are talking about battery monitors in your RV, why you should upgrade it, or what you should know about your battery monitor. Let me give you a quick rundown of the battery monitor that came with our rig. Now, ours is um, a lot like a lot of the rigs that are getting produced nowadays, and the battery monitor that was in it is very, very basic. And it had a few shortcomings along with that. The shortcomings are it doesn't give you a lot of information. Basically, I get to press one little button and it gives me four, I think four or five LED lights and it tells me it's either like full, two thirds, one third or empty. So there's really not that much information there and it's not really all that accurate. So to understand that battery monitor, that monitor is basically just checking the voltage and it's giving you what it thinks the battery level is at. So if you have a draw on your battery, let's say you have some lights on, uh, it might actually read lower than what you actually have in the battery. If you're charging your batteries and the voltage is really high because you're charging your batteries, you might have a, a false reading of a full battery. And that is definitely not a good plan when you're getting ready to head out on a trip and you think you have full batteries and you're really at like 60%. That's a bad scenario. So we want to talk about battery monitors that give you more information so when you set out, you know what you have in your batteries. We did some research and we found the battery monitor that we were excited about and we wanted to install in our rig. And it's the Victron and it was the BMV 700 that we really liked and it uh, stood out to us as to, to look like a really good battery monitor. And so I contacted the company and they ended up sending us uh, basically that battery monitor but with the Bluetooth version of it, which I gotta say, I'm really impressed with the Bluetooth version of this battery monitor. But let's break it down and look at the information that this provides compared to the one that came in our rig originally. Well, there was quite a few steps before being able to see the display of all the information that it gives us, but let's hop into the app because it gives you a great snapshot of what is the current state of your batteries. So. Uh, if we just go ahead and load the app, it is going to sync uh, by Bluetooth. So you don't have to have Wi-Fi or anything like that, uh, but we can log into it. And on that first screen, it's gonna show us our battery voltage, which our other one kind of did with LED lights. And it'll tell us if our battery's being charged positively or if it's being drawn from, and it'll show a negative number if that's the case. It'll show us our current state of charge and one of the biggest features of this is it shows us our amp hours. Now, when you pump power into your batteries, it, it goes in as amp hours. And when you draw out, it comes out as amp hours. It's like pumping gas into your car. You wanna know how much gas you put in and how much gas you've used so that you know how far you can go. Well, when you look at amp hours, it's gonna be that same way. So it'll tell you uh, you're down 20 amp hours or you're charging currently and you're only five amp hours away from being full. So uh, that is a very crucial piece of information uh, to know about your batteries and why this battery monitor is so great. And the reason why I like the Bluetooth version of this is because um, it will show you a lot of details, uh, like how much time is remaining if you're drawing on your batteries, if you're using your lights or whatever you're using off of your batteries, it'll tell you how long you can go on that, that current plan that you're doing at that moment. So uh, you can turn things off if you need that to go longer. Um, so that is great uh, piece of information to see in the app. You can look at the history, uh, but then you can also go into the settings and the settings here are, are really easy to use. Uh, you can change the, the battery capacity. That's something you're going to have to enter in and that's easy to change here. So that is the app side of things. But when we installed this, this battery monitor, let's get into a, a little bit of the installation. You see now why uh, you need one that can tell you this information, um, but there is the other side of installing it. And I'll show you a quick version of how we installed ours. 
But before I do that, let me show you a very simplified picture of what they give you um, in the instructions. This is the back of the box, but uh, it works great and very simple to how it all works. Now, when you have a battery monitor like this, you're going to have a shunt. And that shunt is gonna be able to communicate with your battery monitor display to tell you how much power has gone into your batteries and out. It might sound a little confusing, but wiring it is super simple. So this piece right here is your shunt. You have one cable, this is very important. One cable coming from your battery to your shunt, and this is the negative side, so it's not the positive side. And anything else, any other device that plugs into your batteries uh, as a load, like your lights or um, anything else that's gonna draw from your batteries goes on this side of the shunt. That's basically the biggest point of the shunt. Now, we do have a positive wire that connects to this B1, is what's on, on this shunt, and it goes to the positive side of the battery. So on the positive side of the battery, it's gonna read what's going on there. It's not feeding anything, but it's gonna read it. And then we have our low volt wire that plugs in. It's like a telephone wire, and it has its own port on the shunt, and it's gonna go straight to the battery monitor uh, to display all the information that you need. So pretty simple. So on ours, it gets a little bit messier in, in reality uh, because our system's a little bit more involved than say the simple diagram on the back of the box, but it's the same theory. We're gonna plug in one wire from the battery to the shunt, nothing else coming from the battery on the negative side. And then from that other side of the shunt, we're gonna go to all of our loads. I use these little distribution uh, terminals to do that. And then on the positive side, um, I ended up using a, a fuse here so that it's a catastrophic fuse um, so that if anything were to happen, all of our other devices are somewhat protected and the wires protected for this fuse. And I'm using it to distribute to our, our other areas. Now, some of this might look a little confusing, but when you break it down and remember to look at the picture in the in the instructions, it's actually quite simple. And then you just wanna find a location where you're gonna drill a hole and mount the actual battery monitor. You're gonna run the low volt wire to it, plug it in, and uh, it's gonna give you the information you're looking for once you plug in the capacity of your batteries. In my opinion, I think this is a device that you should absolutely make sure you have or upgrade to before you do anything else uh, electrically, uh, say batteries, upgrading your battery bank or going to solar. I think this should be first so that you can learn uh, how much you actually use on a, on a daily basis or during a week and how you recharge that, uh, how much time it takes to bring that back up to full state of charge because you don't want to overbuy in your solar system or overbuy in your battery bank and you also don't want to underbuy. If you realize you're going through a lot of power, this is gonna give you the information as you watch what you do, uh, it's gonna tell you how much you actually do need just by, by watching it and learning your uses for it. So there's gonna be links in the description to all these products, to this battery monitor that we used, and to some of those other things like the, the fuses and a handful of those other items. And if you have a tip or trick that you wanna share with us, please go ahead and leave that in the comments. We always love learning. And until next time, hopefully we will see you on the road.